In this video, I'm gonna discuss the housing market data for the Tampa Bay area over the last seven days. So if that's something that interested you, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Josh Bryant. I'm a local real estate agent, and I make videos on what it's like to live in the Tampa Bay area. So if that's something that you're uh, interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, each week, uh, I put out a video on what the uh, real estate market is doing in the Tampa Bay area. And usually it's on Tuesdays. Now it's going to be Wednesday or I'm sorry, Mondays at 4 p.m. is when I'm going to drop it. Um, I've got a, a conflict of schedule on Tuesday mornings now when I normally shoot it. So every uh, Monday at 4 p.m. is when this will go live. Um, I am hearing from you know a lot of you guys. So I actually really enjoy that. Last week I had a for sale by owner actually reach out to me talking about how um, they really enjoyed this type of content. Still on the market at 12 days though. So if you're watching and you want to get it sold, reach out to me. We'll get that sold for you. I am also noticed that 95.8% of you that watch these are not subscribed to the channel. So please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. That really helped me out. I appreciate it. Enough talking. Let's jump in. All right. In Hillsborough County, uh, there were 384 new homes that went on the market last week. That was up from the previous week. Of those, 13 of them were below $250,000. 225 were between two hundred fifty and $500,000. 111 were between 500,000 and 1 million, and there were 38 above 1 million. Also in the comments below, let me know if you like it that I break it down per price point or if you just want the total number. There were 704 price reductions. That was up from the previous week. 14 of those were under $250,000. 443 were between 250 and $500,000. 209 were between 500,000 and 1 million, and there was 40 over 1 million. There were 287 homes that sold last week. That was also down from the previous week. 200, uh, I'm sorry, 20 of those were under $250,000. 192 were between 250 and $500,000. 66 were between 500,000 and 1 million, and there was 11 over 1 million. There were 411 homes that went under contract last week. That was up from the previous week. Uh, 29 of those were under 250,000. 289 were between 250 and 500,000. There were 81 between 500,000 and 1 million and 20 over 1 million. So Hillsborough County inventory net wise fell last week. There were 411 that went under contract and only 384 new homes on the market. All right, cross the bridge over in Pinellas County. There were 204 new homes. That was down from the previous week. 12 of those were under $250,000. 111 were uh, between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 63 were between $500,000 and $1 million. And there were 22 over $1 million. There were 357 price reductions. That was up from the previous week. 12 of those were under $250,000. 184 were between 250 and $500,000. 122 were between 500,000 and 1 million and there were 41 over 1 million. There were 166 that sold. That was also down from the previous week. 13 of those were under $250,000. 94 were between 250 and $500,000. 55 were between 500,000 and 1 million, and there were seven over 1 million. Pending home sales were up 251 uh, compared to the previous week. 16 of those were under $250,000. 148 were between 250 and $500,000. 66 were between 500,000 and 1 million, and there were 24 over 1 million. So, same story in Pinellas County. Inventory fell on a net number, only 204 new listings and 251 went under contract. Up in Pasco County, there were 216 new homes that hit the market. That was down from the previous week. 36 of those were under $250,000. 128 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 53 were between $500,000 and $1 million, and there was four over $1 million. There were 448 price reductions. That was up from the previous week. 49 of those were under $250,000. 
276 were between 250 and $500,000. 116 were between 500 and 1 million. And there were 10 over 1 million. There were 158 homes that sold last week. That was down from the previous week. 40 of those were under $250,000. 80 were between 250 and $500,000. 39 were between 500,000 and 1 million. And there was one over 1 million. There was 269 homes that went under contract last week. That was up from the previous week. 49 of those were under $250,000. 170 were between 250 and $500,000. 47 were between 500,000 and 1 million. And there were six over 1 million. Same story again, 216 new homes, 269 under contract. So inventory fell net wise in Pasco. Um, last week, somebody requested that I start adding Hernando County in. So we'll go even further north and add in Hernando County going forward. So um, there were 60 new listings last week. Obviously, I don't have the previous weeks to compare those. There were five that were under $250,000. 46 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 10 were between $500,000 and $1 million, And there was one over $1 million. There were 124 price reductions. 10 of those were under $250,000. 101 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 12 were between $500,000 and $1 million, And there was one over $1 million. There were 59 homes that sold. 10 of those were under $250,000. 44 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 5 were between $500,000 and $1 million, And there was zero over $1 million. There was 75 homes that went under contract last week. 13 of those were under $250,000. 57 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. Four were between $500,000 and $1 million, And there was one over $1 million. So like the other three counties, inventory fell again. Uh, 60 new homes on the market, 75 under contract. So over this last week, inventory fell. All right, time for the townhomes and condos. In Hillsborough County, there were 98 new listings. That was up from the previous week. There were 23 under $250,000, 47 between two fifty dollars and $500,000, 11 between $500,000 and $1 million, and there was 18 over $1 million. There were 129 price reductions. That was also up from the previous week. 22 of those were under $250,000. 87 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 18 were between 500,000 and 1 million and there was two over 1 million. There were 84 homes that sold. That was down from the previous week. 34 were under $250,000. 42 were between 250 and $500,000. 9 were between 500,000 and 1 million and there was one over 1 million. There were 95 homes that went under contract. That was the same number as the previous week. There were 41 that were under $250,000, 47 between two fifty dollars and $500,000, 7 between $500,000 and $1 million, and 0 over $1 million. Over in Pinellas County, there were 122 new homes on the market. That was down from the previous week. 34 of those were under $250,000. 46 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 33 were between 500,000 and 1 million, and there was 11 over 1 million. There were 150 price reductions. That was up from the previous week. 39 of those were under $250,000. 64 were between 250 and $500,000. 34 were under, or between 500,000 and 1 million, and 13 were over 1 million. There was 97 that sold last week. That was down from the previous week. 38 were under $250,000, 36 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000, 20 were between $500,000 and $1 million, and there was one over $1 million. There were a 127 that went under contract. That was also down from the previous week. 59 of those were under $250,000, 38 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000, 24 were between $500,000 and $1 million, and there was seven over $1 million. Up in Pasco County, there were 43 new that hit the market. That was up from the previous week. Nine of those were under $250,000. 33 were between two fifty dollars and $500,000. 
One was between 500,000 and 1 million, and there was zero over 1 million. There were 46 price reductions that was down from the previous week. Five of those were under 250,000, and 41 were between 250 and 500,000. There were 29 that sold that was down from the previous week. 15 of those under 250,000, 14 between 250 and 500,000. And there were 41 pending sales uh, that was also down from the previous week. 17 of those were between 250,000 and 25 were between 250,000 and 500,000. And there were none in Hernando County. Um, So as far as inventory levels go, Hillsborough County, it increased a little bit, 98 new, 95 under contract. Pinellas uh, decreased a little bit, 122 new, 127 under contract. And Pasco increased a little bit with 43 new and 41 under contract. If there's anything that you want to see in these type of videos, just comment below and I will see if I can get that uh, either in a video for you or if not, get it over to you directly. So if you're thinking about making a move anywhere in the Tampa Bay area, reach out. I love helping people. I love talking uh, to you about you know your goals in real estate. And we can schedule a Zoom call, hop on that, and come up with a game plan to make it happen. Until next week, take care.